personalities, this is Tracy, putting through a lot of videos today. This is also May 6, 2015. A lot of videos today, hopefully a lot of videos. Real Housewives of Atlanta, oh my god, you guys are making me really, really mad. I'm hating the, um, the reunion um, episode. The first one was really, really bad. Cody, I love you. Kenya, I love you. Cynthia, I love you. Candy, I also love you. I actually feel bad for you, Candy, because you don't have an island to fall on. So make sure your marriage is really, really good because you're neutral. You're neutral. <laughs> so, you know, protect your marriage, Candy. That's what I would say to you. Um, so that's the first reunion. The second reunion, Nene and Phaedra, you guys are this despicable examples of black women. Don't even call yourself. Don't even put black into it. Don't even, don't say that. Don't put black into it because I don't appreciate that. That is not the way um, black women should be acting. <laughs> not the way. Uh, Jesus, take the wheel. And I, and I literally mean that because Phaedra uses Jesus, but she's despicable. She says horrible, horrible things. And then she hides behind the cross of Jesus. And Nene, she don't have any Christianity in her. She just doesn't. Um, you just make me so mad. Okay, I'm over it. Actually, this is about Claudia and Portia. <laughs> Claudia and Portia. Will Claudia take Portia's job on the visual part of that show? What's the name of that show? Oh, damn it. You guys know I never do my homework. Tell me the name of the show in my, uh, in my comments. Let me do my homework. Is Claudia going to take Portia's position um, on that show? Dish Nation! That's it. <laughs> Could Claudia take Portia's position? Um, Portia is pretty popular, to be honest with you. She is pretty popular. Um, Claudia stood her ground with them women. I'm so proud of you, uh, Claudia. So proud of you. You did, I think you did good standing against a new group of women that wanted to annihilate you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But she's also an Aries. And if you know Aries personality, um, they are really, really good people, but they won't take shit from anybody. So, good luck. If you come for an Aries, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um, and um, <sighs> um. Um, this is kind of hard to read, to be honest with you. Kind of hard to read. Um, a little hard to read. There's a man that is definitely going to make a decision. The decision could be probably in one month's time or by the new season. So I don't know when this nation ends and when it begins again, or is it a 24-hour operation. Um, but it looks like something that ends and then begins again, something like that. I don't think it's you know, 12 months of fresh news, something about it doesn't feel like it is. It feels like a, when the new season begins, something like that. I don't know. Um, I want to say yes. I Honestly, I want to say Claudia could be invited to have a position on Dish Nation. In the visual part, right now she does the radio, but I'm talking about in the broadcast part. Um, there's a lot more money involved. This is wishes and desires come true. So I don't know if this is something that Claudia is actually hoping for at the same time. Um, it looks to me like there's been a cover-up that has nothing to do with Claudia, but that there was a cover-up. For this to occur at least for a half a season, like five months. Um, it looks like it's changing of the gods. It looks like Portia's position is temporary. Um, but the position is temporary, not 
Portia. The position is temporary. So it could be one of those seats where they could just re-invite new people into that particular chair. So no one's allowed to get comfortable. Like It just looks like the void where the two chairs all of a sudden is a revolving chair. And it looks like it wasn't meant to be that way. And it was kind of like, ah, maybe we should keep this chair open for, you know, the possibility of new people taking a, um, taking a seat for uh, up to five months, something like that. I think Portia has run her gamut on Dish Nation. I haven't seen whether or not she's still on it. Um, but I think she's run her gamut on Dish Nation. I see feelings getting hurt. I get the Three of Swords, which means I get the Three of Swords and I get sabotage as a final outcome. I honestly think that Portia has no clue. <laughs> I don't think she realizes. Um, I don't think she has any clue. Hmm. Hmm. Um, hmm. there's a lot more money involved uh, for Claudia um, she is going to be very very successful in the chair very very successful um, she almost has masculine quality that's how good she is she's not like Portia's girly girly girl whereas Claudia comes across as like really like making the punches like this quicker stronger harder um, I also think it's slated for her. I think the universe wants her to have it, which is why I get, um, the temperance card. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think she wanted it in the first place, to be honest with you. And then I think they gave it to Portia, hoping that, um, this would create the, the conflict. But then it didn't quite create the conflict that they thought it would. But now if they switch then it creates a conflict. Um, I think there's some hurt feelings if this occurs. Um, I think that it's self-sabotage. If Portia just doesn't accept that this is occurring today, there's some personal self-sabotage. I don't know why Portia's coming out so strong this reading, so I was actually trying to read Claudia, but I did say Portia. Um, Portia, you have less money coming to you. A lot of things are going to happen to you, Portia, if this switch happens. Um, it's less money, and it's less money. Um, and Portia, people are, be are going to begin not to like you. Uh, when I say people, I don't mean the public. I think the public adores you, Portia. I think your employer the people closest to you, the people that have to work with you, I think you become less and less light. And I think you're clueless as to what it is that's happening in your personality that creates um, this transition. But I think the transition occurs, and then you, sh you wear your ugly head. So I don't know if they take you from it or if they switch you guys, then you don't like it, Portia. And you're on a radio, and then you don't show up to work. Like, you make it bigger than it's supposed to be. Um, and then your money gets compromised. Like, first it gets reduced, and then I feel like the, the job gets taken away. And then whatever money man is around you, whatever many African princes that are in Georgia right now, <laughs> that's taking care of you. I think he then begins to not take care of you, so, and then you leave, and then, and then you leave, or then Bravo pays your contract out, which I don't know if that's possible, but, I don't know, Portia, there's going to be a transition that's going to occur before the next taping of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and depending upon your attitude, you may not even be invited into like one episode because a lot of stuff is going to go down here. All right, I felt really awkward. I hope um, what I'm receiving is true and correct for all. There's no maliciousness here. Of course, you're not my favorite, but you're really not my favorite because of the Underground Railroad.
crap that you made. That that has been my problem with you. The minute you did that, I was done. Because it's really, really hard being black. And for you not to know this, it was just, it was unacceptable for me. It, it was no longer cute. Um, so you're not my favorite. I don't hate you, but you're not my favorite. And my readings are not reflecting how much I don't like you. My readings are reflecting your personality. All right, so that's it. Call me for your own personal readings, 818-985-2010, 818-985-2010. Bye, guys.